Now what we're going to do is show you what's inside the engine because once we seal it, and uh, I think we'll take the bolts off, eventually we have a plate here, an aluminum plate, that'll cover it. All it'll be is just a covered plate here. And we'll screw it to here, and we'll screw it to the bottom plate. So we're going to... Once we seal it and we and we put the, 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 the gases on, uh, then you cannot see what's inside the engine. Okay. 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 okay, that's our, our top plate, aluminum top plate. Um, this is just a sleeve, it's plastic. Uh, we just bought it from somewhere, and they come off, and they're just ba basically to hold the coils, three coils on each piston that we use to create a very powerful electromagnetic force field. Now we'll take the, uh, the coils out and close the piston. These are the pistons, and this is the only moving part of the engine, actually. So you'll, we'll, we'll show you how the engine runs. Only the bottom part. We are going to start the engine with a starter. We want to show you everything that's inside the engine because, like I say, uh, we have all the rest of the bolts here. And there's six bolts that will go on here. All the bolts. And uh, this is the way these bolts are going. Okay, let me show, let me bring this over here. Then take that one off, please. Uh, can you get a good shot of this? Okay, I'll turn it this way. This is the bottom of it, and it's solid and sealed. It's got threads in here, and you can see Jake is unscrewing it. We just thread it back. This is how you fuel the pistons. The pistons are, are, are uh, toroidal in shape inside. Way down the bottom, it'll be donut shape where the inner gases will be sealed totally. They cannot get out. This is actually a, a gas tank in which we put three cubic centimeters of gases, of inner gases, approximately, whatever centimeters are two and a half inches or so. And then there's a top piston that comes in here and it seals the gases and this will move up and down like this. And it goes up and down with the tender crank shaft. Um, and we'll take this one out. And we want you to see what that there is nothing in this engine Okay, this is the top part of the piston here. Take a shot of it. Down. It's not quite ready yet. Leave that one up for a second, Jake. I'm just show you this. This is the head of the piston. And then here we'll go. Uh, we'll put um, Teflon rings, which will seal the piston itself, so that none of the gases can escape. This is stationary. This one will move up and down, you see. There's another portion that goes here, and the top plate we took off, okay, it'll bolt on top, so that this will this will remain stationary, and this one will fire back and forth. Oh, and then this is the, the electrodes. This is our insulator, and it insulates the electrodes from the metal portion. If you don't have the electrodes yet, they're being made they will eventually go in here and bolt to the top. Okay, now we're going to take it apart and get you right down to the, uh, you want to take the bolts off? Get you right down to the uh, crankshaft so you can see that there is absolutely no room actually to put a, a battery or another little engine or chipmunks.
Well, that one's on tight. Okay. And then, uh, Don, then I want you to bring the camera and we're going to take a shot. Straight down. And actually, you can see the rods here, the, the connecting rods in the crankshaft. Okay, you may have to watch your step here and then stand on top here. Hang on to the, to the bolt. And then we'll turn the by hand. Okay, hold it right there, Jake. Okay, now, now take a good... I don't know if we got enough light. There's not enough light to get down inside. Okay, can you see some of it, though? No, uh, very little. Very little, okay. Okay, these are con rods, or connecting rods, and then they're hooked to the to the rod, and the rod is hooked onto your crankshaft. Okay? All right, just put, put it back. Uh, now, we're going to put the rods back because the oil will shoot right out. Up. Yeah, right. Here, if we started the oil, shoot up from, from here. This will stop the oil from going anywhere. If it stays within the bottom part, goes back into the pan. And then you screw on. And this is how you uh, you can screw these off and, and refuel your uh, engine when it runs out of fuel, if it ever runs out of fuel. These inner gases. We have uh, calculated that they will run, oh, maybe 10,000 hours, maybe 15,000 hours. What will happen is something will break. We have resistors, and, you know, uh, and diodes, cathodes, oil, battery, generator, and they'll break before before the engine will. Uh, or the engine will run out of fuel. We doubt that the engine. But when it does, we just change it, run it again. Okay, we're going to give you just a demonstration to show that the bottom portion runs and works. We have the battery, and of course, the starter, and Jake's got the button. And it's going to be real noisy because it's a real big starter, it's an original starter.